Hello everyone, Nadlabs here. Today I'm going to be showing how you can make a dynamic label just like this, where the text is able to dynamically position itself between the mouse and the uh, zero, 00, and let's get right into it. So as you can see, this doesn't take a lot of code, and in fact, I don't really need these lines because I was just playing around with something. And you can see that in this scene, uh, we have a line 2D and a label. The label just has a text, and I'm going to be using the Kenny Bold uh, font pack, and over here, I have just a little um, text Oops, I just have a little bit of information uh, about the thing. I do not claim to have made this. Kenny made it. It's under the Creative Commons Zero license. And it's just really amazing and really love Kenny's work. And this is just me explaining that in case of any uh, accidents in the future or any copyright strikes. But anyway, so all you need to do to make this project or if you want to implement this dynamic text in your own project is you need a line 2D. You don't even need a line 2D, for God's sake. You need a label. That's all you need. And you all you have to do is say that the label, right, I get a, a declaration to the label over here, on ready var label, I say label dot direct global position, which is actually getting, as you see how I have labels selected over here, it actually goes to rect and it says position, but it actually gets the global position because it's just easier to work with the global position in my opinion. In fact, we can actually try that out. We can do rect position and we get very similar results. In fact, they're basically the same, right? So how do we actually dynamically position this? Well, it comes down to a bit of vector maths. The way we're going to position this label is actually through the mouse, but you can do it through any other node or any other position. For example, if you have a player moving around the bottom or anything else like a missile or something, whatever you want, you can just use a label and dynamically position like that uh, using that node. We're going to be using the mouse in this example, and we're going to say to get the global mouse position and divide it by two. What this does is it, let's say this is a zero, zero, and this is where my mouse is currently. It will actually get the exact middle, which is, oops, my bad, which is about here-ish. So what Godot will do when I say get global mouse position divided by two is I'll actually get this vector over here and it'll set the label position to that. And if we try that out right now, we can see that it does exactly what we expect. It does it, it sets it in between the uh, halfway point between the label and the uh, mouse. And if you're wondering why it legs over here, it's because it's actually not detecting the mouse inside of this frame over here. So it just stops. But if I do this, you can see I get what I expect. But the only issue is that when I go over here, it starts to seem like the text starts to go, it doesn't really follow the mouse anymore. And that's because it does, but it's not doing what we expect. Because uh, the way that um, the position is actually calculated is from the top left, not the center, like a sprite. So that's the only issue. If you're bothered by this, you, you can actually add the size of the label. So you can do something like um, label dot uh, get size or get minimum, no, not get size, but you can do size itself. Let's see if that works. And this is literally how I make my tutorials. I actually just uh, go from, yeah, there we go. Like I I use the autocomplete or I use the search help and I'm just looking for stuff, right? And we can actually do divided by two for this. Let's put this in, oops, we can actually just put this in parentheses just for making it more organized. And you can see that we actually get a little bit, ooh, it actually sticks out a bit more than expected. That's interesting. And that's because I actually have to subtract. Now it works a bit better because now it's always going to be halfway. But now it clips out of the screen. So that's a little bit of a annoying thing. But hey, some things work, some things don't. It depends on what you're making. Um, I'm actually going to leave that over here in the comments. One second. Because some might want to use that. But anyway, what I had before this tutorial started was this. And the reason I had this specific number is because it actually makes it so if I'm over here, the text is showing a bit to the right. It's kind of hard to point with the mouse when the mouse is actually moving the label. And you can see when I'm over here, it actually shows it below the line. But when it's above, you can see that it's um just above it. And it doesn't look that bad. Now, just a couple more things if you want to make a dynamic label. Make sure you add a shadow to it because that just makes it look a lot more professional. If you're wondering how I put a shadow, you have to go to custom colors. Set your font color to whatever you want. Set your shadow color to whatever you want. Don't set it to the exact same. That just looks horrible. I set it to about, I believe... 30, 30, 30. Yep. Yeah. And um, then you want to make sure you want to open or expand this custom uh, constants. And you can see that this is the shadow behind. And when I do that, let's say four, it was three before, but whatever. You can see now when I play it. And the shadow actually looks kind of nice behind a bit of text. And, and that's just my opinion, right? But it kind of looks nice um, if you think about it. Now, yeah, that's all I have to say for this tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed. Of course, the code will be on GitHub. That will be in the description below. And once again, thank you to Kenny for making these amazing font packs and um, free open source uh, 
not open source, but free assets under the Creative Commons Zero license. And that's all I have to say. And I'm just going to leave this info label up here uh, in case anything happens in the future. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Have a great day.